Hey, what's going on? This is Mike Fox with Window Repair Systems and WindowHardwareDirect.com, and I'm here with Brian Fox. And I wanted to talk about a new product that we have, and it is a screen repair kit. So what comes in this is a 36 inch by 84 inch charcoal fiberglass screen mesh. And you get 25 feet of spline and a screen tool. And so um, Brian's gonna demonstrate real quick on how just to rescreen with the kit. The great thing about the screen repair kit is that you don't have to buy the whole new, a whole new screen. Uh, since most of the time the frame is in good condition, it's just this, the mesh might be dirty or just might be loose from just years of being in the sun and damage from kids pushing on it, whatnot. Uh, so the first thing you gotta do is just pop out the old mesh and old spline. Um, there's a couple ways of doing that. Sometimes you can just push up and it just pops right up like that. And then you just pull out the spline. Sometimes you gotta cut the, the mesh pull it out and it takes a little bit more effort. Um, now, since this is fiberglass, it's pretty easy to work with. When you're dealing with aluminum, it's, it's a lot trickier. And you gotta be careful, you don't wanna cut yourself. Um, so sometimes you can reuse the spline, but a lot of times it's already stretched out because once you install it, um, it stretches into the place. So we recommend just using the spline that comes with the kit. So <clears throat> you, you don't have to tape it down to the table, but we have these lips on our manufacturing tables. We also have another uh, table that, that clamps the screen frame down because when you're rolling it in, it can move around. Um, so if you're just at home, you can either have screw in some small pieces of wood or something to, to make a little jig, or you just take some tape and tape it to the table. It's a lot easier. Because when you're putting the mesh in, you don't want it to go um, cockeyed and um, start to have ripples and bunches in it. <clears throat> okay, since the screen is secured to the table, we can lay the mesh over the top of it. I didn't even measure this frame. Okay, perfect. <laughs> it worked out. Perfect. Okay, oh, I noticed I had some tape over the edge here, just where the spline goes. So you want to fix that corner, just so that, yeah. You can always add tape if you need to. All right, so that looks good. This side, I didn't touch it, so I left that. So you're just gonna center it up best you can. Since the, uh, we got extra, it's not that vital, but uh, you have maybe an inch to inch and a half on each side overhang. Untie the spline. Okay. I always start on uh, the longest on one of the long corners, since it's fiberglass, it's not as important to, uh, compared to aluminum mesh. If you ever do aluminum mesh, you'll understand, but uh, this we can go straight around without having to go from one side to the other like a drum. Um, but basically I just put it in the corner. I find the side of the tool that's uh, not concave and I start to roll on the inside of the frame instead on the spline instead of on the edge because if it's the chance that you'll roll off and then you'll puncture the the mesh because uh, you want to slightly roll the spline it will roll into the into the frame And just making sure the, the mesh is straight throughout. Just 
screen. Once you get to the corner, all you do is just have it come around and I just hold it with your finger and do the same thing here. Once, once it's over, I'll come through and I'll push it down with a, a flathead screwdriver. And sometimes it, um, you have to readjust the mesh just to make sure it's uh, nice and tight. But you don't want to pull too much, otherwise it'll bend the frame. Sometimes you just have to clean up the edge. With fiberglass, you can redo it as many times as you need. You just have to be careful not to slip off, especially at the end. Then you'll puncture the mesh and you just have to redo the whole thing. Right. Now we can cut the spline, the extra. And I just take a flat head and I push down the corners gently just to make sure it's secure. So you can't get in there with the roller tool. And the last step is just cutting the spline or the, the extra mesh off. And I like to go on the inside edge of the spline here and you have to be careful not to slip off and then you'll scratch the frame. Okay, so once you cut out the screen mesh, um, then your screen is basically, it's done. So um, this is the, the basic repair, screen repair kit. Um, you know, if you got a couple of screens that you gotta make, you can get the kit, it comes with the tool, the spline, the mesh, and it can come out as beautiful as this one. Uh, if you have more screens that you want done or your frame is damaged too far, we do make full screens. Um, so uh, remember to like and subscribe, Brian Fox, Mike Fox. Um, that's it, till next time. Screens.